Hey guys, what's up, what's good? It's your girl Jojo, it is 4am and I am back with another video. So welcome to the life of Juliet. This is my life and you're here to watch it. So welcome. Anyways, today I gotta talk to my ladies. I gotta talk to my girls because this is very important. I feel like y'all should know this. So here we go. We're gonna talk about your yeah, JJ care. So I don't know if everybody knows, after a period, you need to take care of your vagina. After talking to other women, you know, I, I see a lot of women on a regular basis and on a daily, so after talking to a lot of women and getting your opinion, I feel like I need to make this video because a lot of people are unaware of themselves and how to take care of themselves. So personally for me, when my period is over, I shave, okay? That's very important. Um, for me, the hair protects me. Um, it doesn't have like, I feel like my pad, my wet pad if I'm out and stuff, and I haven't changed myself. Typically, guys, I do change myself four to five times in a day when I have my period. Not that it's heavy, but I don't like to feel something just wet. On myself and for the most part I am at home I am a stay-at-home mom so I work at home and everything like that so for me it's easier to do it now if it's not easy like that for you I just recommend you keep a couple of pads in your purse in your car that way you can run to a bathroom whether it's someone's bathroom or in a public bathroom and change yourself and always guys please keep a plastic bag so you can wrap that pad dirty pad and put it in there and throw it in your own garbage do not leave your pads in other people's trash can and like public bathroom that's just disgusting don't do it okay keep it in your own trash so yeah so for me i don't like to feel things rubbing against you know my naked v so i keep my hair on on one on a period it helps to not to just have less of that feeling if that makes sense and i feel like for me it's a sense of protection i don't get no bumps i don't get you know no rash none of that stuff i feel like the hair protects it i feel like whatever god plays in your body there's a reason why for it and to me that's what i describe as my reason to have hair down there so typically after my period is over i shave you know because you know you know what's about to go around so get to shave and then after shaving i have to say before shaving to be honest i put this over it for protection aloe vera cut it take these out okay which i'm about to do right now don't need a huge piece okay I take this part out then I cut it in half like so um, typically if I don't have to shave the other side is for my face but when I do have to shave prior to it I go on ahead with this and I rub it up over it it's like my shaving cream shaving gel whatever you want to call it i go over it and i just put it and that way i do not cut myself but i do use a razor as you guys can see i don't use nail i don't think it's safe to use nail down there either um i don't go get wax because i don't like pen just don't like pen so next thing if i don't have apple cider you guys today i happen to have some as you can see it is very much in use in this house so it's almost done probably have had this though for like about a month and a half or so so yeah but um after i shave while i'm washing myself i go ahead um for this you put it in a cup and a little bowl and you add some water to it and and you rinse out everything and then i go in with my um um summer's eve and with my cloth that's in there i don't want to 
gosh, I'm doing nice. But yeah, you do need a cloth to wash. Like I don't know why you, people don't have like a cloth, like a a a, 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 a piece of um. Is, is it? Am I saying it right? Like a little towel. It is. I think it's a cloth, a washcloth, to wash down there because you do have dead skin. And your hands, unfortunately, cannot remove those dead skin. You need a cloth to, like, wash it, okay? So, um, I put this over in a cloth, and I wash it thoroughly. And then after that, I don't leave this only in there. And I go back with the second part of the olive, and I will put it again down there that way. Don't get me wrong, you guys. You do have some residue left up in there whenever you done with your period if you don't trust what i'm saying or don't believe me try this and then come back to my comment section and let me know when your period is over you see that little brown little discharge in the pattern you're like yeah it's done that that and you start wearing your, your underwears and stuff you might see a little discharge once you stop seeing it you think oh boom it's gone whatever whatever no you do have those things left in there so what i like to do is take a little piece of the aloe put it right up there not like too far it is very jelly so it slides right back down i put it in there just to like you know circulate it there and then it comes out with whatever is left i mean i'd be much but it's something that can if you keep it um there too much that can give you infections and what or whatnot um, I'm no gynecologist. These are things that I have done for myself and I have keep I have kept my coochie very clean. A lot of doctors will not give you these natural remedies. Why? Because they make money of the medicine that they're gonna prescribe you. Antibiotics, you guys, unfortunately kills good bacteria in your body and also the bad ones. You don't wanna kill the good bacteria that are in your body. You wanna keep those and kill the bad ones. Now, these natural remedies happens to be able to simply kill the bad bacteria and leave the good ones where they need to be so they can do the job that they need to do. So that's why I'm telling you guys this. Now, you can try it or you can leave it. But I do want it to share with you all what I do to keep my V, you know, clean. I don't want to say... To, let's say lady part to keep my little part very clean and very neat and if you have guys going down there you guys you guys need to take care of it because you do not want him to be you know putting stuff that's not supposed to be in his mouth in his mouth okay so take care of your v um get you some aloe vera you can use it on a regular i promise you have a little infection you wash yourself with aloe vera within three days you should be good okay i promise you you wash yourself with this sometimes when i don't have this i don't know if i told you all that but well, sometimes if i don't have this i will use lime lime juice works just fine it is it is the same thing it does the same thing and it is very good for down there you it is a meat you guys just like you would season a meat and clean a meat you kind of want to clean it kind of the same way except a little bit more cautious with that one but it is a meat that is in your body that is constantly, you know, having, you know, some of us are wet, wetter than others. So these things that, are, that your body is letting go of, please don't try to keep them with, because you're not doing the hygiene, the proper hygiene that you need to do. So for me, aloe vera, my summer's eve, I like to use this one because it leaves you feeling so cool and fresh down there because it is mint. Uh, you can get that at Walmart, Amazon. Where else have I seen it? To be honest, a friend put me on. I used, I used to use the aloe vera one, which I still have. Um, but now I have a choice whether I want to, do I want to feel cold? Do I want to just feel clean, you know? Like, you know, it's a choice now. So sometimes I use the other one and sometimes I use this one. It depends on what I'm feeling like that day. But you guys, I just wanted to share that with you and I thought it would it would be helpful to y'all. And if you use these things that I've told y'all about, some of y'all are against this and I completely understand it is your choice. You can still just do these. You don't need the 
necessary vaginal wash that could be a vaginal wash and you should be fine but for me it has done nothing to me to be honest so i'm gonna have cancer i feel like i'm gonna have cancer i feel like everything you do here will give you cancer so you can be breathing and you're getting cancer out of here it's just like i i don't i don't think something i'm washing the outside of my lady part is gonna have anything to do with it so until other studies come out to tell me it's true i'm gonna keep using it but if you again say it's okay there are other the tons and tons of vaginal wash i am gonna try and find a vaginal wash that's more plant-based because i do love plant-based everything although i am not a vegetarian don't think i am okay from time to time i would like to eat my little fish i would like to eat my little um chicken wings so i'm not completely a vegetarian but i try to not eat meat too much okay i try to eat out of the ocean more but i can i guess you can call me more of a pescatarian but anyways you guys and don't forget don't put soap the soap that you wash your body with please 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 please, please don't put it down there please don't put soap inside of your thing like meaning inside internal means like you go up there okay you can't open that thing up and you know put something in there but not like the you know which can open the lips and wash like you can do that but do not go in there and try to put soap up there don't do that okay that will cause you to have infections don't use the soap you use in your body in there. Do not put lotion down there, you guys. Do not put perfume to make it smell better. Just eat the right stuff. Like, drink you some aloe vera water. Eat some cucumbers. Um, eat pineapples. Eat apples. Things that are the things. Your vagina is what you eat, guys. So eat the right stuff. That way, you think it's this smelling good and feeling good and tasting good to your man. Alright, thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Love y'all.